We all know Starship is the world's largest and most powerful rocket ever built, but to meet SpaceX's ambitious goals, it has to become even more powerful, many times more than it is today. The current version of Starship is still a long way from the rocket Musk envisions for missions to Mars or the Moon. However, SpaceX is working tirelessly, day and night, to make this vision a reality. And it's not just about building the rocket. It's about the speed at which they're pushing these advancements forward because Musk wants to reach Mars as soon as possible. Recently, SpaceX revealed a new version of Starship that brings them closer to this goal. In today's video, we're diving into the details of this upgraded Starship and what it means for the future of space exploration. Before we delve any deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. Starship version 1, also known as Block 1, represents SpaceX's first full-scale prototype designed to test their vision of a fully reusable launch vehicle. Unlike earlier test models, Block 1 was built with the capability for both orbital launches and returns. The structure of Starship version 1 is primarily made of stainless steel. Stainless steel was chosen because it could handle intense thermal stresses with less reliance on complex thermal protection systems, making it a practical choice for an initial prototype. However, SpaceX still added a custom heat shield on one side to endure the friction experienced during descent. The heat shield itself consisted of hexagonal tiles designed to reduce gaps and create a more uniform protective layer. This shield was able to withstand multiple re-entries, but it was still experimental and provided SpaceX with valuable data on durability and performance which would later help improvements in version 2. The Raptor engines used in Block 1 were also a new feature. These engines are powered by liquid methane and liquid oxygen. Block 1's landing system also involved a unique flip maneuver. This maneuver required the vehicle to use its aerodynamic control surfaces, or flaps, to adjust its descent angle before performing a final flip to land vertically. The design of these flaps and their control system was a significant feature in Block 1, enabling the rocket to achieve controlled landings that are crucial for reusability. The large flaps at the front and back of the rocket provided stability during descent and helped direct the rocket's trajectory. Starship version 1 underwent an extensive series of tests, focusing on both ground tests and actual flights. As SpaceX moved to higher altitudes with prototypes like SN8 and SN9, they encountered more complex challenges including the belly flop maneuver. SN8 was the first to attempt a high altitude flight, reaching about 12.5 kilometers before performing the flip maneuver. Although it ultimately failed to land safely due to low pressure in the fuel header tank, SN8 provided crucial insights into the aerodynamic control. Further tests with SN10 and SN15 built on these experiences. SN10 was the first prototype to complete a high-altitude flight and land successfully, though it exploded shortly after touchdown due to a hard landing. SN15, however, incorporated hundreds of design improvements based on previous tests and managed to complete its test flight without exploding, marking a major milestone for Starship version 1. In addition to these high-altitude flights, SpaceX has conducted five orbital test flights with Starship, each iteration outperforming the last. The first test flight, back in April 2023, ended shortly after liftoff in an explosion shortly after liftoff. Fast forward to the fifth test flight, and the contrast is remarkable. This latest mission not only achieved a full orbital attempt, but also completed an ambitious series of maneuvers that included a successful re-entry and, for the first time, a mid-air booster catch by the Mechazilla Tower System. While Starship Version 1 has achieved all these major milestones, there are still critical improvements needed. This has led to the development of Starship Version 2, a more refined and capable iteration designed to tackle the limitations seen in the first version. The version 1 prototypes typically measured around 50 meters in height and 9 meters in diameter, with a dry mass of roughly 85 to 120 tons. Primarily used for testing, these early models weren't optimized for maximum payload capacity, but aimed for around 100 to 150 tons to low Earth orbit when paired with the super-heavy booster.
The propulsion system was built to hold around 1,200 tons of propellant, setting the foundation for longer missions SpaceX envisions for future Starship versions. And that's where Starship version 2, or Block 2, comes in. After version 1's initial test flights and data collection, SpaceX identified areas that needed enhancement to better meet the demands of regular space missions. These upgrades have been implemented in Block 2, with specific changes that reflect the lessons learned from the earlier flights. One of the recent Block 2 prototypes recently underwent testing at SpaceX's Massey facility. During two rounds of cryogenic proof tests, the tanks were filled with super-cold liquid nitrogen. This testing process simulates the extreme conditions that the rocket would face during launch, helping engineers detect leaks, verify structural durability, and confirm the rocket's ability to withstand high-stress conditions. After these tests, the prototypes were sent back to the production facility on November 2nd, where engineers are analyzing the data to make any final adjustments. A major change in version 2 is an improved flight termination system. This system allows the rocket to be safely shut down if needed, which is crucial for launch safety. In Block 2, this system is faster and more tightly integrated with other systems, making the rocket safer to operate, especially for launches near populated areas. Another key improvement is the heat shield. In Version 1, the heat shield was durable but relatively heavy, affecting reusability and efficiency. SpaceX redesigned this shield in Version 2 to be both lighter and twice as durable, offering better protection with less weight. Block 2 also removes the temporary structural supports, known as stringers, that were used in Block 1. Without these supports, the exterior is smoother and more aerodynamic, which reduces drag and increases fuel efficiency. By reducing air resistance, the rocket can reach higher speeds and greater altitudes, with the same amount of propellant making it more fuel efficient and cost effective. Once the cryogenic tests are complete, the next step is engine installation, followed by further testing. SpaceX's previous rockets have typically required several months for these preparations. However, Block 2's streamlined design is expected to reduce this preparation time, potentially allowing for faster launches. The nose cone of version 2 has also been modified. SpaceX improved the welds and removed excess bracing, resulting in a more aerodynamic shape. This refined nose cone design decreases air resistance, making it more fuel efficient during flight. The descent and landing flaps have also been redesigned. In version 1, the larger flaps were positioned at a 180 degree angle, which posed challenges during high speed re entry due to the heat generated. SpaceX adjusted these flaps to an angle of about 120 to 140 degrees, which reduces drag and improves control particularly during the descent and flip maneuver used for landing. That's all for today's update. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on Starship and other important developments in the space world. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.